In this service video for the Campbell Lock Stitch Needle Awl Machine, we're going to demonstrate how to properly align the needle and the awl. Uh, in your machine manual on page 11, it outlines this process. We're going to demonstrate the process step by step on how to properly set the needle and awl alignment. Here we have a Campbell Lock Stitch Machine. The arch covers are off. And um, before you go into this adjustment, keep in mind this is not a normal adjustment. This is something that is done after the machine has been serviced. For instance, parts related to the needle and all assembly has been ch have been changed out, or um, the machine has come into contact something with something hard. It's run across a piece of hardware. It's gotten jammed up. And something's been uh, stuck in the machine to cause it to um, be jerked hard enough to pull the head out of alignment. Uh, so the first thing you're going to want to check before you do anything is the needle and all themselves. So before you change a needle and all, you're going to want to go ahead and, and verify if the needle and all are bent. And so you can often do this just by simply rolling the needle or the awl to see if it has any kind of wobble to it. Uh, when in doubt, change it out. There's no sense on wasting a lot of time trying to figure out if it's the needle and all it's bent. Um, if you want to change it out and verify with a new set, that's the best way to check it. So after you change the needle all and uh, you verify that it's it's okay, we can go on to check the alignment of the awl and of the needle itself. Before we can move to the awl alignment, we need to verify that the needle is in the proper position. So first thing we'll do is um, we have a fixture that we use when we set the machines, and this is something that's not going to be used unless you're changing out the needle bar stand uh, or you've loosened the needle bar stand assembly using loosening these screws and the bushings inside. If you change any of that you have to reset your needle bar stand. And so this fixture is used to make sure that the race of that needle bar stand is right in the middle of the frame. So you check it on the left and on the right side of the machine. And if it's not in proper position, you're going to want to take and loosen this screw, pull it out, back off that lower bushing a little bit. Um, if you want to demonstrate where that's at, using a wide tipped flathead screwdriver, you release that screw. You see there's a bushing there and that pushes away or uh, allows the needle bar stand to be sucked in closer to the frame. You can adjust the position with that. You would normally want to go ahead and loosen this off so it doesn't interfere with these upper adjustments first. But you would then adjust those bushings in or out to align the angle of that um, needle bar frame to be in proper alignment. In this case we're in alignment already so we're not going to change that. And then after you've you've set the top alignment with these screws, you need to set the bottom tilt. So in other words, these screws adjust the position this way in the machine and you try to get it perfectly on center as we see here. This screw adjusts the tilt. So in other words, adjusts the angle of that needle, how it is interacting with the parts. And when we set this normally, We'll want that to be in a natural position. So if you were to put this together and uh, maybe just turn the machine over with the hand wheel first a few times, and you can make sure that that needle and all is, um, is traveling well, it's not binding, that's a good start. And let the machine naturally set the home position for that uh, needle action. And you can just set the bushing as you need. But then after you do that, you're going to want to make sure that that needle is coming up perpendicularly or straight up and down and um, go ahead and turn it over and you could also want to verify that when your shuttle is in the machine that the needle itself is coming down right in line with the tip of that shuttle so that the shuttle can grab the, the thread and pull it off for the lock. If you're skipping stitches, um, it could be that this is not doing its job and it's not grabbing the thread, uh, gra not grabbing that loop to split it to make the lock. 
Um, if you have a machine that's worn, sometimes this shuttle throw will be worn in such a way that it hits the shuttle unevenly and causes it to rock around. Um, or it could be that this race itself is worn and you can actually wiggle the needle bar itself and in some cases when you're sewing harder materials it'll pull to one side more than the other so if you've got worn parts it'll cause it to skip as well. In this case we've already set the needle and all or the needle alignment top and bottom. So we'll go ahead and lock everything back into place and then we're going to go ahead and move into the all alignment. So first thing to check is once we set our needle and we know that that's set properly, how does this look in comparison to the all? And if you can look here, if we can focus on it, we're off. So we need to get the point of that. The point left or right is not too bad, but definitely if you look here, the needle is a little bit behind the awl. And so, there we're, we're almost level, but here we got a little bit of an overbite. So we need to reposition that awl. The only way to position the awl is to actually set the head position. You have on the front of the machine three Allen screws and on the back of the machine two Allen screws. Everything is easy to access except for this Allen screw here. In order to get to this you have to lift this uh, bell crank assembly up out of the machine uh, which will cause a little bit extra work. So you're just going to want ahead and loosen these Allen screws so that you can adjust, manipulate the head. Again, keep in mind that once you have this locked in place, this is held in tight. And the only way you're going to damage this adjustment is putting the machine through a serious bind. Um, it can also happen in, in moving. If you grab the head and try to lift the machine with the head, there's enough weight to this machine to wiggle things out of alignment. So, Continue. Uh, yes, we're going to go ahead and show you. A, there's, there's ways you can kind of cheat it if you want to just lift, take out those two screws and try to lift it up. Sometimes you have enough room just to get to that bottom screw, but you know, it's, it's better sometimes just to go ahead and, and loosen your linkage so that you can actually pull it out and get full access. So we're going to go ahead and take these linkages out. Now that you remove the top um, linkages there, it allows you to lift that bell crank out of the way. You have full access to that screw. You can go ahead and loosen that one, and now we can manipulate the head position. So now we have that loose, and so this whole head now, you can wiggle it around to wherever you need it to go. Now, in assembly process, uh, we have the luxury of using an alignment pin, uh, which looks like this, and you can actually chuck it up in the awl, awl bar, and then the needle bar can come right up and, and chuck up against it so you can get perfect alignment. If you don't have an alignment pin, which uh, not, we don't really hand these out, um, you can do it by eye, just by looking at your needle and awl position and looking at the points that needle and awl. So what we're going to do then, is um, one thing I would recommend doing is get in as best as you can by eye. So we're we're pretty good there. But one thing we can do is if we loosen this all, um, we can move that uh, tip of the all around and kind of use it like crosshairs and check it in different positions to make sure that we're not being deceived by the shape of that all. So we loosen a little bit. Then you kind of twist it and check it in different locations to see how well it comes up with the point of the needle. The point of the needle is pretty obvious because it's, it's ground right on center. The, uh, the bevel of the awl 
because it's ground at angles there, it might be harder to understand where you're at. But see now you can, we're gonna go ahead and try to get your alignment. Apologize for that. We're gonna go ahead and try to get our alignment uh, just by loosening those screws and moving your head until you can get everything in perfect alignment. And now we have our alignment of our needle and all directly on top of each other. And we, we spun that all around until we can get like crosshairs, the point of that needle right in the center of that all. And when you find that position, hold it in position, start to firm up your, um, your, your screws, and make sure that when you're tightening those screws, don't hit those screws uh, because you can actually move that head again. So get ever so slightly, little by little, start locking it down. And then once you get it down, you can start tightening it even more. But you don't want to hit on that wrench because you can move your head until you get everything nice and firm. After you get your, your uh, head bolts all tightened down, then you can go ahead, put your crank back in position, reconnect your linkages, and you are ready to go. So that would be the proper adjustment of the needle all alignment and the Campbell lock stitch. Always verify that your needle first is in proper position. Neither your needle and all are bent. Uh, make sure there's no wear on your machine that can be causing the problem uh, that would cause you to chase this adjustment around. But once you set this, unless you put the machine in a serious bind or you move it and you knock the head out of alignment, uh, there should be no reason to have to set this again.